you asked me to make a QST stock chart analysis and I do it with pleasure. So I make only technical analysis. I do not make fundamental analysis. This is a daily chart and uh, let's look from higher time frame. This is weekly. We had important historical support at about three dollars and stock bounced from that support very very well. We had some kind of a symmetrical triangle and this trend line was already broken. That's also very good bullish sign. So this is a second signal for a continuation to the upside. And we had some kind of resistance zone. So first level is 5.50. It was established by this low, but it was established two or even three years ago. So this level is old and it might be not actual for now. We had another important resistance level 6.89. It was established here and confirmed by this tail of the candle. Let's return on the daily. Stock already made 50% move from $4 to $6. And you see that this move was sharp and on RSI indicator we have overbought territory. But price broke the important level of 5.80 and now it is in the resistance zone. Definitely now stock must consolidate for a while to accumulate more energy to continue breakout to the upside. If price returned under 5.80 closed on a daily that's a strong short signal. If I believe in this company and I want to buy it right now, my stop loss would be under 5.80, under this red candle, 5.63. Because if price returned here, that means that sellers took a control because this level is very important. I want to see consolidation just within this range to accumulate more energy. What I mean when I'm talking about energy? First of all, this is orders of opposite players. If I want stock to go higher, I need stop orders of short seller to push the price. The second reason for energy that's news. Just recall a firm stock when they announced Amazon partnership, stock skyrocket because that means fundamental shift more revenue and uh, price skyrocket. So that's the second reason for energy. There are some several others, but this is two that you can uh, take in your account. Okay, so in case of breaking 6.89, that's a very strong third signal that confirms continuation to the upside. Because there are already a lot of orders, different players, that do not allow stock to continue climbing as quickly as it did before. Stock need time to break these scheduled limit orders from this area. From this, 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 this and this. But in case of great news, that would be a perfect situation. But in case of just buyers pushing price above this level, we can get a momentum to this local high $8 and then to the next uh, highs about $9. Let's sum up. In case of closing under this 5.80 level, that's a signal to close long position. In case of consolidating within this area, that's a very healthy price action. And uh, I would take 50% position right now. And in case of uh, breaking 6.89 and closing on a daily above this level, I would uh, take another 50% of my long position. And uh, how long to hold this position, that's all about fundamentals and all about uh, your goal. I would exit 30% of my position at $8 mark, then another 30% of my position at $9 mark, and uh, the rest I would hold when uh, there will be another overbought territory on a RSI indicator. 
but this is only from technical perspective because I'm a technical trader. If you have fundamental edge about this company, you decide how long to hold this position in your portfolio. This is my analysis. Thank you and uh, write in the comments what do you think.